Welcome back. This is module 2 of capital investment. In our previous lecture, we have learned how to calculate net present value in Excel. In this lecture, we are covering internal rate of return or simply IRR. IRR is the rate of return that makes NPV of a project equal to zero or IRR is just the rate of return that you will obtain if you invest in a project. In other words, IRR is a measurement of project's profitability. Now let's look at the acceptance criteria or decision criteria based on internal rate of return. If internal rate of return of a project is greater than or more than cost of capital, we will accept the project. And if the IRR is less than the cost of capital, we will reject the project. There is a simple example of IRR. Suppose you have just invested $100 and you will get $110 from this investment within a short period of time. And that this project has no other cash flows. So, if you calculate the rate of return, your rate of return will be 10%. $100 is in your investment and you will get in total $110. So, 10% is your rate of return. In other words, IRR of your investment is 10%. Now, if, you, if we explain it differently, if we use 10% discount rate, for this project, NPV of this project will be zero. So if we consider $100 as an initial investment and oh, $110 of uh, cash flow in period one, and uh, if we use 10% discount rate, NPV of this project will be zero. So based on this calculation, 10% is the IRR of this investment project. Here is a uh, mathematical solution of IRR. Here there are two, two projects here, project S and project L and weighted average cost of capital of both projects are 10%. However, to calculate IRR of a project, we do not need the weighted average cost of capital. There are different methods to calculate internal rate of return, we can use trial, trial and error method which is uh, uh, which is quite complicated because uh, we have to, uh, we need to consider different value to find out the IRR. There is also approximate formula, but approximate formula often does not give uh, the right result for right calculation. So uh, the best thing to do is to use Excel to find out the IRR of a project. However, let's look at the example here. There are two projects, project S and project L. Both projects have $1,000 million initial investment and these are the projects will uh, provide cash flows for four years or the lifetime of these projects are four years. Uh, now let's look at the cash flows of project S. Project S will provide $500 in year one, $400 million in year two, $300 in year four, three, and $100 in year four. So these, uh, this is the NPV formula. So this 1000 is the initial investment. That's uh, minus $1,500 in year one. So one plus IRR two to the power one, then 400, 300, $100 in year four. So last one is one plus IRR to the power four. If we use 14.489% discount rate, the NPV of project S will be zero. So if we use for this uh, discount rate, that means 14.489% NPV of project S will be zero. Similarly, if we use 13.549% discount rate for project L, NPV of project L will be zero. So 
if if you know to, if you want to find out this thing manually, you have to try you have to use the trial and error method. We, I have already said you this is a bit complicated method, and we will uh, learn how to calculate error using Excel. Now, if we compare the this two results of project A and project L. Uh, IRR of project S is more than project L. Now, if the projects are independent, we can accept both projects because both projects has a IRR which is more than the cost of capital, which is 10%. Uh, so, both projects are accepted based on the acceptance criteria. And if the projects are independent, we can accept both projects. However, if the projects are mutually exclusive, in that case, based on IRR, we should accept project S because the rate of return of project S, that means the IRR of project S, is more than the IRR of project L. So, project S is more profitable based on uh, IRR than project L. Now let's look at the reinvestment as rate assumption of IRR. IRR method assumes that project cash flows will be reinvested at IRR. Assuming cash flows are reinvested at the opportunity cost of capital uh, is more re realistic. So reinvestment assumption of NPV is project cash flows will be reinvested at cost of capital. This is why reinvestment assumption of, N, of NPV is more realistic and overall NPV method is better than IRR. Now, if there is a disagreement between NPV and IRR in terms of results, uh, we should focus on NPV rule. So, when the NPV rule and IRR rule give you different recommendation, you should always follow the NPV rule because NPV is a better method of evaluating investment than IRR. In our next two lectures, we will cover IRR in, in Excel. And we'll also in our we'll also cover NPV versus IRR.